Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. And this down here is little Francis, who is about nine months old. And he's in the window being very calm today, watching birds as they uh, go about their daily routine. And Dodd is off at daycare today, playing with some of her friends. And uh, I'm sort of stuck here at the house for a while. We've got some service people coming over to do a little bit of work today. So I'm here, it's just me and little Francis. Here he is, he's gonna bite on me. Come here, Francis. Yeah, he's gonna bite. He is pure alley cat. He's a sweet little kitty, but he does occasionally like to remind me uh, who's actually in charge of things. Uh, but today, uh, I'm getting ready to start tonight a, a new Bible study going through the letters of uh, John in the New Testament. And once again, looking at the incredible love that still flows to us through uh, these holy words. Uh, John uh, is called the Apostle of Love. Uh, because he mentions that word in its various forms, something like 57 times in uh, the Gospel of John and another 40 some odd times in uh, first, second, and third John and uh, 15 to 20 times in the book of Revelation. He mentions love all the time. Uh, and compared to the other Gospels, I think Matthew is the next closest. Matthew mentions love in a variety of forms. Uh, about 20 times, something like that. So much more in John do we get the impression that uh, God is communicating his love to us through his son, Jesus Christ. And so we'll be looking at that tonight and also the uh, amazing discussion that John has about the necessity for us to do what we're called on to do by God. If we really love God, he says, we must do what he commands us to do. And of course, the, the commandments are still in force. You know, the Decalogue, the 10 words uh, are still fully in force. Uh, and Jesus has summarized them and spiritualized them for us into the love commandments of loving God with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength and loving our neighbors as ourselves. And if we really love God, uh, we will show it in our actions and the way we live our lives. So we'll be looking at that tonight and for the next uh, a month or so uh, as we uh, penetrate into the heart of the New Testament, which is all about love and in the heart of Scripture, which is all about God's love for us. And I hope you're able to experience that today. Uh, he is still active in the world today. He's still active in your life and in mine. His light still shines, even though I'm sort of in the dark here. <laughs> His light still shines uh, in the world today. Uh, and the world is mesmerized by darkness, but God's light overcomes darkness. I hope you have a blessed day today. And uh, God willing, Francis and I. Hey, Francis. Come here. Come here. There he is. He's going to do a little biting on my hand today. And I and Dot will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.